and it and and Mr. 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 That's him right there, yo. Okay, so the first incident judge is based on um, an incident that occurred on November 1st of this year. The officer in that case was uh, investigating the homicide. That occurred down at uh, the 1200 block of San Jacinto. He obtained video surveillance from different vantage points around the location of the incident, and the video uh, surveillance that was that was captured uh, during the night of the night of the incident it was obtained by law enforcement. It clearly depicts Cameron Joshua's face um, as one of the individuals that was present at the scene. Um, the witness, who's an employee at the location where the incident occurred who wishes to remain anonymous for the purposes of the affidavit for reasons of her safety was interviewed. <clears throat> she confirmed that uh, she encountered an individual holding the firearm that was trying to rack the gun during the incident showing it was a functioning firearm. Uh, she identified that person from the surveillance video by clothing and physical characteristics. This was determined to be the same person as this defendant, Cameron Joshua. Officers discovered that Mr. Joshua was convicted of the felony offense of grand theft in California. October 27, 2022, making him a convicted felon for the purposes of the carrying a weapon statute. A pocket warrant was obtained for his arrest. The next incident occurred during that arrest, which occurred on the 22nd of November. He was found to exit an apartment off of Leona. He entered a Cadillac vehicle. He was then pulled over for purposes of arresting him on the felony pocket warrant. He was taken into custody and a semi-automatic handgun was found underneath the driver's seat where he'd been sitting. He is also on bond out of this court judge for the offense of tampering, which was filed in November of 2021. And it looks like he was indicted on December 13th of last year. December of what? 13th, ma'am. Thank you. He has a burglary of a motor vehicle case judge that he was convicted of on March 8th of this year that occurred back in 2020 in September. He also has an ECW dismissed. It looks like based out of the same plea agreement and misdemeanor PCS case that was also dismissed. It looks like out of the same plea agreement. Thank you. Are there any arguments you need to uh, Your Honor, obviously, uh, we're here to request bond on the two new cases. Uh, we would submit that uh, at the time that these offenses are alleged to have been committed, Mr. Jo Mr. Joshua was on bond for possessing a fake ID. Uh, the circumstances of these cases, Judge, I want to make clear, she's not uh, suspected of being the shooter. Uh, in either case, uh, and is suspect in either case. Yes, Judge, there are the two new carrying oh, weapon new cases, cases, right? But in those cases, he's not suspected of being a shooter in the case. Okay. Uh, these these are allegations that he possessed a firearm. Okay. I, I, I guess I misunderstood you. I, it may sound like it was allegedly two murders. You said two other cases. No, ma'am. I know he's alleged to have committed felony possession of weapon and unlawful possession. Right, right. In, 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 in each of those cases, we're dealing strictly with the issue of possessing the weapon, not, not actually, you know, using it and shooting. Thank you. That's right, Judge. Um, obviously, we would request a hearing for, for no bond based on the circumstances, Judge. And I spoke with Mr. Downey about having such a hearing, and we also had a conversation about, and we've been in communication with California. We believe it's likely that they will file a motion to revoke the probation and, and will affect a hold on it here. Um, so we are talking to Mr. Downey about possibly setting a hearing off next week um, to see whether or not we confirm with them, number one, whether he's going to have a hold, and then we could proceed it for uh, at the hearing at that time. Yeah, I, I do think that that's probably uh, a better idea for us to do that uh, because I'm going to leave the old case anyway before. So 
I can always set a bond, but then you know I, I may find it to be insufficient. And so you know how that goes. I think it'll probably be better. Let's go ahead and just reset it again. We will, Judge. Thank you all. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. That dude look like he's about 12. Anybody would remotely argue with me.